Hey, good morning, heavy hitters. Thanks for tuning in. You know, yesterday I caught a video with one of my homeboys, and I guess the message got blurred. You know, the message wasn't a workout video or whether Nick's on steroids or whether he just eats chicken and has pure dedication. That's not the point. The point was the message. So I pray that you guys are able to find the message. You know, Nick said to me this morning, he goes, my boy, I'm not tripping on that. You know, I've been going to the gym for nine years now, meal prepping, doing this and that. He goes, I owe no one, no one out there any explanations. I'm at the gym probably 358 days a year, and I know that to be true. So the message was the point, guys. I tried to bring you a little joke. You know, some of you guys caught that, you know, we. There was no bank robbery planned, you know, like, but in the old days, that would have been going down, you know. Um, so, like, some of my life's experiences, daily life's experience, including, like, what's going on in my life recently, will probably reflect on the show as well. So, we all have struggles. We're all struggling. You're not the only one. Badger's life isn't freaking perfect, believe me. You know, like... Oh, I love this one. Why he got the crazy eyes. Man, I drank about a half a gallon of C4 yesterday, you know? <laughs> if you don't know, figure it out. That shit will have you. Plus, I'm half bat shit crazy. Don't you know by any of my stories that everything I do, I do 100%? And today, I just happen to want to help people 100%. You know? Uh, I don't half-ass anything. Half-assing is for weak-minded people. I don't half-ass anything. If I, that's why I call myself a heavy hitter. Whatever it is I'm going to do, I'm going to do. You know? Um, I don't know, you guys. Next time someone tries to convince you that they care, look at what they do, not what they say, man. You know what I mean? If they want to fucking be around you, fucking kick it with your company. So I have friends that I don't talk to for months, possibly even years. But when we connect, we connect. Nothing's ever changed. We didn't skip a day between all that time. We're fucking like that forever, you know? Uh, and I hope you find that. I hope you're able to find that. You know, I had that with my girl over here, my little redhead. She's in bed with me. She never gets in bed with me, just so everybody knows. She'll never get in bed with me. She doesn't like to be coddled and fondled. She's sort of just like me, you know? Uh, so, I mean, like when you wake up to a PIA pillow for... Who cares how long? You know what I mean? That's your comfort zone is that little pillow because that's all you got to fucking attach to. And you know what true loneliness and despair is. And, and then somebody tries to give you the attention that you've always wanted but you don't know how to accept. You know, uh, that's been my story. A lot of you guys ask why I'm single, you know. Well, I assure you it's not because of my Steven Seagal die job. It passes off just fine, you know. Um, like I said before, I've been a blessing to a lot of people that have been nothing but a lesson to me, you know. And I'm grateful for that, man. I'm grateful for all that because if they're not trying to be in my life, I ain't trying to put them in my life. It's real simple, you know, because my life is better when I'm not concentrating on this and that, when I'm just looking out for me and the individual that wants to be helped. And as you can imagine, in my work, it gets really wearing, man. It gets really wearing. And the Instagram conversations that I try to respond to, it's just really wearing, you know. But you know what? I get to appreciate that every day. And I get to appreciate that I'm not there today, you know. My girl wants to say hi, apparently. Can you just come here? Can you guys see her? So... You know, guys, if you're struggling, I promise you, you're not the only one. You got anger issues? I guarantee you, you're not the only one. You know, like, but I learned to not respond. You know, uh, like I said, my boy Nick was like, man, these guys that are hating on me, they can't even barely push a pencil. That's why they're fucking hating on me. Haters make us famous. Well, I don't want a bunch of people to hate me, man. I don't. I don't, you don't even have to really like me. Just appreciate the message, you know? Like, hopefully you can let it sink in and appreciate the message. 
It sounds redundant, but all I want you to do is appreciate the message. If you're trying to grow, you're trying to be a heavy hitter, you know, that's what we do. We absorb what we need to absorb. We just get rid of the rest, vile it up. Blech. We don't care about the rest. People call me with problems all the fucking time. I do not care about the problem. What is the solution? What is the solution today? Only you know your solution, please. Take time, look in the mirror, ask yourself where you want to be today and what you're doing to get there. This is the message. Not whether he's on juice, not whether how we work out. I promise you this, I know almost for a fact, since we've been friends and we're not just friends, we're close, that it's pretty much chicken and dedication. You know, he's at the, that vitamin shop all the time, getting what he needs to get, uh, meal prepping. I don't even know why I'm explaining for him, because he's like, don't explain for me, bro. I'm good. You know what I mean? I get my gains because of dedication. I show up. I eat the way I'm supposed to eat. Here I go. I'm still fucking explaining for him. I'm not going to do it. I apologize. Nick, when you see this, please don't let these guys keep you from sharing your story, bro. It's a painful story, man. Like fucking, I don't even want to put any of a shit out there. It's a painful story. So this assures me that as I disclose more of my shit, that it has to go on Patreon. It just has to, because I'm not going to have people judging the things I've done because they haven't fucking gotten off restriction yet. And fucking, they're not out in society. They haven't had the addictions or the depths that I've had, you know, or the, the, despair that a lot of us share people ask about mental illness man i'm batshit crazy don't you know that that's why i've turned it into what i do power push it forward power push it forward i don't sit and dwell on what was what is i just keep pushing forward i try not to respond you know i try not to re uh, my bad i try not to react you know, I try to listen to not respond, but to understand, you know, and, and you guys hear a lot of the same shit out of my mouth from time to time. But guess what, guys? It's the truth. It's what I do on a daily. I have to remind myself you're not that crazy guy that you used to be, nor do I ever want to be. You know, I told you a while back that one of my fellows said, hey, man, what happened to the badger that I knew? I grew up on li listening to the fucking war stories and... I wasn't telling the war stories. Everyone else was. But I'll tell you what did happen to that guy is he hasn't returned to prison. You know, he got a job. He became a productive member of society. So thank God I didn't do, drink too much C4 this morning. Skip the coffee. Go straight for the C4 because I don't want you guys saying, look at crazy eyes. <laughs> Actually, it makes me crack up because I look at the videos too and I'm like, this dude's fucking truly batshit crazy. Hey, man, I appreciate all you guys. I hope you guys keep pushing. Um, I got to throw some serious shout-outs because I got a, a CD from somebody, and I got a plaque. You know, hey, D, could you bring that plaque out here real quick? So I got this plaque. Somebody took the time to make a plaque for Badger's Heavy Hitters, man, and sent it to the P.O. Box, and he spent some money on it to send it, and he... he he sent me this album, man, and I was just so at peace listening to his album. I was like, damn, this isn't even the kind of music I like, but guess what? I love it. I don't like it. I love it. You know, like it just set me at ease, the plaque. So they sent me a plaque showing, you know, 10,000, 20,000, 30,000. So thank you so much. I don't know if you guys can see it, but if, and if you can read it. But it tells part of my story from Fresh Out. Hey, thank you, Fresh Out, by the way. I appreciate you guys. Uh, you know, you guys got to get that yard time in if you want to look like Nick. It's just that simple. Get it fresh out and get that yard time because that's what we've been messing for. I call it C4 because I just go to my boy Herc and get it, you know. Uh, so it says, established August 28, 2018, YouTube, OG Badgers, Heavy Hitters. And then I told part of my story on Fresh Out. It says, 60% deaf. I couldn't hear what you were saying. For those of you that know, you know. You know what I mean? And then it says subscribers, and it has a release thing. So he sent this with 20000 on it, man. And that's 
Hopefully I can reach 20,000 people. Hopefully 20,000 people are able to learn from my mistakes is the bottom line. Hey guys, I'm gonna cut this short. I got my girl to take care of. I got a few things to take care of today. Just like, I, I'm sorry, my bad. I get to take care of today. You know, some people want it to happen. Some people need it to happen, but heavy hitters make it happen. Got them t-shirts coming for you too. You guys are gonna be way impressed. They're sick. Badger's the guy when it comes to that, I found out. So, hey man, I appreciate you guys. Let me know when you'd like to do a live feed and a good time frame for everyone. And I'm gonna make it happen. Cause I read those comments. I try and respond. I try and communicate with you as a community. So, mad respect, mad love. Keep it up, respect.